The city of Minneapolis is fighting climate change in a way no other city in North America is trying or doing right now. In Climate Watch, David Schumann looks at how a new facility will turn wood into something called biochar to lower the amount of carbon in the atmosphere. When emerald ash borer kills trees or utility companies trim back branches around power lines, it creates wood waste that releases carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. This summer, Minneapolis will open a facility to take wood waste and turn it into something called biochar. It looks like wood chips, but black. Wood gets superheated and condensed to form the biochar, which traps the CO2 in for thousands of years. But then, biochar can be used in many other ways. As the Swiss Army knife for climate tools, it also does amazing environmental benefits such as growing more food, saving our trees, but also our public works is use it. We'd be using it in stormwater, transportation, planting trees, et cetera. We're working with the University of Minnesota on a number of different applications. Leaders on the project say the facility will remove more than 3,500 tons of carbon dioxide from the air every year, the equivalent of taking nearly 800 cars off the road. XL Energy will be supplying most of the wood waste to be processed. For customers, it won't be any different in terms of how they use our energy. They'll just have the benefit of knowing that their company is really trying to innovate and do things smarter and better with reducing carbon uh, in our environment. This is an area in biochar where we can go on offense, where we can do more. That's why we're the first city to use biochar. It's also will be the, why we're the first city to have a facility that makes biochar. In Minneapolis, David Schumann, WCCO News. The city says it's paying for the project with grants and fees already in your utility bill, so that means no tax increases.